coach, only the second time you're doing an, an interview where your team has lost. What is your assessment of the match today? Um, well, first of all, I think congratulations to Mathari. Um, I think they played really well. Um, they defended extremely well today. We were a bit flat. Um, I think there's no doubt about that. We were below our levels, but don't take anything away from our opponents today. I think we can't complain about the result. We needed to do more. Um, we were a little bit unfortunate. We've obviously hit the woodwork twice. You know, we've hit the crossbar, we've hit the post, and um, we've had a one disallowed. And so we can maybe be consider ourselves a little bit unfortunate, but at the same time, I think Mathari defended really well. They made sure there wasn't a lot of space inside. Um, we were sort of forced to use the flanks a little bit more and they defended cross as well um, I don't think our quality was quite as good putting the balls into the central players so yeah I think overall it's a disappointing day for us because we were quite flat you know even the first the first 15 or 20 minutes of the game felt a little bit like a preseason game you know in the sense that there wasn't quite the tempo the intensity that we're used to in the KPL games but look we just have to pick ourselves up I think if anyone had said at the start of the season to any team in the KPL at the end of the first at the end of the first leg would you take being in first position and four points ahead of your nearest rival I think everybody in the league would have said yeah we'll take that so we're disappointed today, but we can't forget how far these boys have come, and we're in a good position to attack the second half of the season. And characteristic of you today, you made a substitution in the first half, and then you made some changes in the second half. Uh, what is the the changes? Do you think you didn't pick the right spot? Uh, well, I think ultimately it's not the first time we've done it this season. I think if you look back in the opening game against Enzoia, um, we, we took out Peter Loasa after like 30 minutes. Um, I just thought tactically we weren't we weren't quite getting into the right spaces today and we just felt that Austin would be capable of getting into those spaces and look you know we've got the smallest squad in the league there is quality in that squad but quality isn't freshness and so you have to rotate a little bit you can't play the same 11 every week we went with the guys who were fresh who were showing quality in training during the week and ultimately you know it just we just weren't quite clicking um, I think the spaces were super tight um, uh, Matari did excellent at just denying space and so I think Austin you saw like even Austin when he came in got into those spaces a little bit better but still not as much as he normally does um, so I think full credit to our opponents but you know it's one of those things if it's not working you can sit on your hands and sort of hope that it works or you can try and proactively change it um, and that's what we tried to do during the game and look it just hasn't it hasn't been our day today I think it's just look there's an old saying um, you know in sport that you can't be too high when you win you can't be too low when you lose I think there's a lot of people out there whether it's media whether it's maybe some supporters who are very quick to you know, declare you champions or very quick to damn you as relegation candidates, you know, after like one game. And so it's just about remembering everyone's disappointed, as we should be, because we're competitive animals. We want to win football matches. But today, you know, we're just a little bit below our levels, but it's just about remembering where we are, having a look, look around at the environment in the league. We've got some big games coming up. Um, Matari, you know... <laughs> This was a game we knew was going to be incredibly hard because look in their last games, that's now, you know, three wins, four wins in their last six games. And really that's sort of upper half of the table form. They started really late in the season and they didn't really have a full preseason. So it's no surprise that Mathari had a really bad start to the season because without a preseason, how are you expected to compete? But now their squad's fully fit and I expect them to compete. You know, I don't think they'll be relegation candidates. They'll be far away from that. Well, look, I think Benson, he scored a goal today, but if you spoke to him, he'll not be happy about today. He, he's very much, you know, everyone out there is a team player. Yes, I'm sure in the moment he's pleased to score, but I know 100% Benson would trade, you know, all of his goals for three points. Um, that's the nature of him. That's the honesty that he works with. And so, yeah, it's another goal for him, but ultimately... You know, it's not been enough today as a squad. We haven't done enough to make sure we get the three points. Coach, you had to see your new signings on the pitch. Maybe any update on the FIFA transfer ban? 
Yeah, well, we're just waiting for the registrations, really. Obviously, um, you know, we had information that um, basically the information that was sent around would be players would be eligible from the weekend. Um, so just not really. The light hasn't went green yet. So once they go green, then they'll be available for selection. Coach, uh, you have a, a Mozart Bet Cup uh, competition against Kibera. Are you going to change maybe anything? Well, look, it's we know we're back here at Kasarani, and we know Kibera. You know, it's a it's a region here in Nairobi that's produced a lot of talent over the years, and you know we've been keeping track on how they've been doing. We're taking that game as seriously as we would take a KPL game because for us. It's another trophy that we want to go and fight for. We want to be, you know, we're very pleased that a new sponsor has come on board for it, that they're getting involved in Kenyan football. And we're going to go out and do everything we can to win that game and try and, you know, move one step closer in it. We're the holders, obviously. It wasn't played last year, but we're the reigning champions in the cup. And so we're going to do everything we can to, to retain that. We've got actually quite a few left backs. Um, we haven't, we're not signing one, no, because uh, we've got a couple of guys coming up from the Youth Academy who were not able to be registered at the start of the season. And so actually, there's once everyone's eligible, it's probably our most competitive position in the team. Um, and so we don't need to look outside for left back. Jeffrey's been fantastic. And you know, the young guys coming through are gonna have a lot of work to do to get in front of them. But um, yeah, you know, it's, it's not an area that we need to strengthen. Thank you very much, guys.